Okay, hello again. A new project for today. I'm trying to fix a MIDI cable. A MIDI cable is looking like this. Uh, if you remember the, the old uh, DIN, D-I-N plugs. And this one, it's communicating from a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller to a synthesizer. This one it's a synth, a synthesizer, it's made by Ketron and it's called Mid J. So when I plug this on MIDI in, you see there, we should have sound. And we have Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a MIDI cable. You see the MIDI cables are using this, this kind of 5-pin uh, DIN, D-I-N plugs. It's almost like the old audio plugs for uh, tape recorders or cassette recorders in the old times. And um, I'm using audio cable. This is two wires with shield. So we have this look from the cable, okay? There we are, you see? Okay, so we count this number one and the screen or the ground. It's always number two and here we have number three. And then we have number four here and number five here. So, like I told you before, this is from inside, from, from the cable. Take the cable like, like you know, the, the point of view. And then, let me have the other connector here. Let me have the other connector here. One, two, three, four, five, one, four, two, five, and three. And then the connection is very easy. Of course, we're gonna have the shield from number two going to number two, uh, shielding all the all the wires inside. So we don't really have any kind of current or transmission here. And then, of course, number four goes to number four here. number five it's going to number five and there we are we have a MIDI cable so let's say we already did this cable and what I have done and this is a very simple way to check if the cable is alright and it's working I have this is this is the male. Both of them are male. So I just took a, f a female connector. Consider like this: one, two, three, four, five. So we have one. Oh, sorry. We have one here. Four, two. And we have three over here and five over here. And it's very easy to do this. I just soldered uh, an LED, but it have to be that kind of LED for flashlights. So. Uh, a pretty powerful LED, you know, and uh, with this kind of LED we can check if we have MIDI transmission. If I connect this, okay, just let me put this back. If I connect this over here, 
You see, I'm already starting having LED light. And that's probably a kind of a midi tempo or time synchronization something from the keyboard and now you see I have the keyboard over here when I'm pushing the keys I have better light and that means the keyboard is working and the cable is good the you know the the most important wires here it's number four and number five all the transmission it's uh, in between these things and uh, you see even volume slider or any other kind of MIDI signals here they are all translated to light okay so uh, before ending this, let me talk a little bit about uh, how the MIDI transmission is working. Um, so let's say we have, we have a keyboard here, or a MIDI controller, or anything else you know, related to MIDI signals. So like I said, we have those four, five pins. Okay, so we have uh, number one and number three, it's in air, we don't care about that number two it's ground it's shield well all matters it's number four and number five so okay so this is the keyboard size of so the signals is going like that it's the signal path on number five one four we got four here and we have five here okay on number four we have the URTTX. So this is the digital signal uh, related to the MIDI signals like notes, velocities and all the other MIDI stuffs. Okay. And the other one we have a plus 5 volts. In the other side, okay, so we have the cable here. In the other side we have the same connector. Okay number pin number four pin number five and between pin number four and number five we have an optocouple what is an optocouple it's a diode an LED electroluminescent exactly like this in the in the front of a phototransistor and when the, the LED is emitting light, then the transistor is catching the light and transform it in signals for further pre-creation, let's say. So we have the synth here, synth side, let's say. And this is nice because the optocouple is also doing a galvanic decoupling. So somehow these two are not connected directly with uh, with signals with voltages of course it will be a ground connection here between the keyboard and the synthesizer but that it's something else because it's just giving the ground or uh, the earth connection in between different uh, instruments. This this is very important here because this one is doing the so-called let me let me call it the translation in between the keyboard and the synth. And uh, hopefully that helps you to clear a little bit about uh, uh, how to make your MIDI connection. And of course, this is very useful too because you can have your uh, uh, connectors here and to put the wires. It's very easy then to work with the things and with the soldering pen, like here. Okay. 
But anyway, that's the idea of the things, and I found this kind of LED tester very, very nice. And uh, I may say that I'm always having not this one, I have to do it in a proper way, maybe to put the LED in here and have some tape on the top. Okay, now let me show you how to do this kind of. Uh, let's call it MIDI signal checker or MIDI cable checker and uh, it's very nice to have a tool like that around because sometimes you don't have a proper uh, uh, instrument or anything else you know just to check the camera look here it's running so all I did here is to connect the diode like this with plus on number five. Well, it's very possible sometime. It's very possible sometime because I know me and I'm pretty sure somebody else is doing the same mistake. Sometimes number four with number five, you know, these wires here red with green let's say they are getting uh, misplaced or uh, just you know instead of four you type to five and but the most important thing is to to have the same pin with the same pin in both in both uh, ways in both connectors and for this one If it's not working like this, then you just connect the other way. Put the diode with the plus to number four. Just turn it around. And it's a very simple way to do it. Just two solder points and... Uh... Okay, thank you for now guys. See you soon with some other projects. And please don't forget to subscribe that helps me a lot to keep the new projects running and uh, to have you know to have some more things to share with you thank you very much bye bye